What is up YouTube? As you could already guess from the title of the video, we're gonna be preparing some trout. Check this out. This is from yesterday's catch. Had it in the cooler. I was just too tired yesterday to, to prep them. That's that cool red stripe that we caught. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you got that red stripe. These are two rainbows. It's like a hybrid or something. So yeah, we're gonna show you um, how to prep these. Some quick things you're gonna need. Ziploc, scissors, fillet knife, cutting board, and then a vacuum sealer or vacuum bag. Some saran wrap as well. Saran wrap and a cooler. Some people have, not a cooler, a freezer. Some people have the freezers in the, connected to the fridge. Some people have separate ones. It doesn't matter. We're just gonna be doing one just for the sake of video. And we're gonna do eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Meeny meeny miny mo. Alright, we're gonna do the red stripe. Hey, this one still has my fishing line. They usually determine if I keep them or not. If the Damn, that hook's way down there. I could kind of see it, but this guy wasn't gonna survive. He got he got damaged too too much. All right, so pretty gooey. Let's wash off our hands there. <laughs> All right, so first things first, I'm gonna talk about the two different types of how I prepare this. One way is one less method, which is the scaling. So depending on how you're gonna cook this, let's say you're gonna you're gonna cook it, you're gonna just butterfly it like how I'm gonna show you right now. You're gonna season both sides. You're gonna season inside, and you're just gonna put it on a put it on a pan like a cast iron pan. Let me see, I'm a cast iron somewhere right here. But yeah, you get the point. You're gonna put it on a cast iron pan. Well, you're gonna want to leave the scales on because I've already cooked it. Tried it just to see. Um, but what happens is the skin rips off when you're cooking it and it's just it's just a mess So if you're gonna just cook this straight on the pan with some oil leave the scales on you know um, If you're gonna Bread it. I think it's okay to leave the scales on as well. A lot of people they do um, so But just for the sake of the video I want to show you how to scale it as well. And so you get your knife, right? Get your fillet knife. And you're just gonna run it, run the blade through the back this direction. And you could hold it down by wearing gloves. A lot of the times, yeah, it's pretty difficult. But just do your best. Don't worry, don't worry about speed. You're not a you're not a deck can, you know. It does this every day, so don't worry about the speed. Just try to get as, as best as you can. I usually haven't been doing this, but I probably need to because I'm going to be smoking a lot of the trout and making jerky, trout jerky, as soon as it comes in. You could pinch the sides right here, like the, the gill plates, kind of helps a little bit. Keep everything intact. And that's kind of it. Kind of it. You're going to wash it off cold water, not hot because we're not cooking it. Cold water. Get most of the scaling off. Got most of it off. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do right there. You're gonna want to. A lot of people wear gloves for this, but I think it's all really just technique. On feel like if you hold this right here on the gill plate, you have a nice firm grip. And you don't, you know, you're holding it right here, it's gonna slip and slide. But you hold it right here, there's like little pressure points. You're good to go, baby. 
See that? See that? It's not going anywhere. Woo! No, it's not going anywhere. Look, I'm holding it. Not going anywhere. So, it, it's all this kind of technique, you know? I didn't learn it from anyone. I just kind of was just going at it and just flaming, flaming, flaming. Or not flaming, but prepping. And, uh, you know, just learn how to hold it. Look how easy it is. Bow. See? It's not going anywhere. Next step. Cut that water so we're not wasting the water. Next step, cut it right down the middle. Don't worry about it being perfect or anything. Just cut it right down the middle. You don't want to put it right here in the water. Turn the water on. And this is the the squeamish part, if this is your first time, a little bit squeamish, you know, a little bit squeamish. Man, my first couple times when I first started doing it again, I felt a little squeamish, but that's why I've been doing it pretty much every day. I don't know. And then this is where uh, you get the scissors, and then it's becoming a little bit easier, you know. You get the scissors, and you're going to cut this cord of organs. Oh, look, there's my baits. So this one ate off the corn immediately. So I cut the stuff that was here connected to the head. I pulled that out with the scissors. Now here, this is a process that I'm going to teach you guys. I'm not sure if a lot of people know this. Probably. See this black line right here? You can easily get rid of that just by getting these scissors. Now, I'm not cutting anything. I'm just sliding just sliding the scissors on the top right here all the way down rubbing it off like so and uh it's coming off you see that it came off see eh? just clean all this stuff uh, And then I just cut these off because, uh, you know, we don't need them. Cut those off. Cut that off. And you're left here with a beautiful, prepared, ready to go to cook however you want trout. Um, pan. You know, cook it on the pan, you fry it, you can smoke it, you can make some jerky out of it. That's pretty much it, you know? Um, there's a lot of pin bones. You could, you could, uh, if, you, if you're gonna beef jerky and stuff like that, you're obviously gonna be cutting them up in strips, right? So, a lot of people flay it and then they cut them in strips. And then from there you can get rid of the pin bones. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed um, my lesson on how to prepare some trout. And then with this, let me show you the, the last and final steps. You don't want to take these guts and put them in a Ziploc. Okay? Don't throw them in your, don't throw them in your, uh, in your garbage, dude. Or do that because uh, you're gonna have a lot of ants. I learned that the hard way. They come for that stuff. Like it's Christmas. Like it's Christmas. So, yeah, you just put your guts on the side and you know, you finish the rest up. Alright, guys, so this next clip is straightforward. After you clean and gut it, you basically just um, saran wrap it. And then you, uh, you vacuum seal it, and then you label the date of uh, when it was caught. And that's it. So I'm just going to roll the clips here, and you're going to see pretty much what you do after you, uh, you clean a, a fish, you know? So um, stay tuned for the next one, guys. If you learned anything, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and uh, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming up. Fresh and Dawson Johnny out here. Oh, yeah.